Hello, this is Lovely Lovebird Designs. In this tutorial, I'll be showing you how to make these cute little ducklings on the rainbow loom. They are freestanding and 3D, and they are super cute. The first one I made with glitter bands, the orange glitter bands for the beak and the feet, and neon blue for the body. The second one is regular orange and yellow. The middle one is glow-in-the-dark white and gray. And the fourth one is jelly yellow and regular orange. And the right one is glitter pink with glitter blue. They all came out super cute. And if you don't like the little feather on the top, you can tuck that in on the back so you don't have to have the feather on the top too. So we only need a single loom for this project. So let's get started. Okay, in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to make this rubber ducky with regular yellow and orange and instead of blue eyes I'm going to use black eyes. So you can also use beads for the eyes. This one I used e-beads and I put a uh, marked with a pink magic marker for the pupils and it came out really cute and fit the face really well. So this one I'm just going to use the regular bands. So we can get started and everything is uh, double bands. This is a staggered position, arrow facing down. And it's only a single loop, so everything's double bands. So I'm going to place the border of the head first. I'm starting on this middle pin and going to the right. And then I'm going to start on the same middle pin and go to the left. Okay, and then I'm going to work my way down on the right side. And then I'm going to go to this middle pin. Then I'm going to work on the left side. And go to the middle pin. Now we're working in the middle. So there's a double band there. And one more going down. So this is the head. Now we're going to work on the neck. The neck is a triple band. So that's three bands. For the neck because it has to be strong because it's going to hold everything together. So a triple band right there. Then we're going to work on the body and we're going back to double bands. Okay, So it's this middle pin to the right, then the middle pin to the left. And we're going to work on the border again, just like the head. Okay, so it's one, two, three, and there's going to be a fourth band right here connecting to the middle pin. Okay, now we're going to do the same shape on the left side. And one more connecting. Okay, now we'll work in the middle. And we're going to go on this pin and go down. Okay, one more. Okay, now we're going to place a capping band right here. It's going to be a single wrapped three times around. Okay, so this is your little layout. Now we're going to work on the legs. And I'm going to use the hook for this. And it's going to be a single. We're going to make three toes. They're really um, not toes on the duck, but on this it's a figure we're going to make little three areas so it will stand flat on the ground. 
So we're going to take a single, wrap it around the hook four times. Okay, then we're going to take another single, twist it upon itself, then place it on the hook, and then place that little capping band on that single twist, and place it back on the hook. So that's one little digit. We're going to make two more. Okay, so I'm going to get my two bands, put it on the hook, wrap it around four times, then take another single, twist it, then place it on your hook, pull that little capping band over, grab your the other end and you have your second one. Now we're going to grab two more little bands, four times around, then you're going to take another single, twist, place it on your hook, then you put your capping band on and place it. So now you have three. Now we're going to take another single and you twist it again and we're going to place it on the hook just like this. Now we're going to grab these three and pull it on that little single, single twist. And this is like the heel of the foot. Place your band back on so now it looks like this. Now we're going to take three more bands and we're going to make the little leg part right here. Single, twist, and then place that on that little single twist. Then you take another single, twist, place it back on that. We're growing the leg now. And one more. Single twist. Okay, so that is one little leg. We can place this at the end of your hook because we're going to make another leg right here. I'm not going to take this off because I have enough room to make the leg. And we're, we need this to be on here too to transfer it onto the loom. So then we're going to take I'm going to just make a little pile here on the orange bands, and I'm going to make another leg. So let's do the digits first, single, and then wrap it around four times, and I'm just repeating the same process to make this. Single, twist, place that on there, then we're going to do another four times around. single twist, place it on the hook, so now I have two, one, two, we need one more, single, wrapped four times, another single twist, if I'm going too fast you can put pause and then, you know, and catch up. Okay, so then I have three right here. I'm going to take another single twist, place those three that we just made on that band, place it the other side of the band on the hook. Now we're going to take three bands and make the leg. So single, twist, another single twist, okay, another single twist. Okay, so now you have two and we're going to take a yellow, or whatever color your body is, and get a nice band, single twist again, there's a lot of single twists in this design, place it on the hook, place your two legs on that yellow band, 
Then we're going to place it on these two pins. So it's one, two, three, it's going to be the second one right in the middle. I'm going to place that yellow band, same on this side. Separate these, and now you have your feet. Now we're going to work on the beak, and it's going to be three orange bands. So it's going to be a single, wrap it around the hook four times. Then take your two bands, place that little capping band on the two, place it back on the hook so it looks like this. Make sure the little band is in the middle because this is your beak. You're going to need another single and then twist it again just like the feet and you're going to place that your beak on just like that. And we're going to place it on these two pins. Okay, and place your beak right in the middle. Now we're going to work on the eyes. I'm using two black bands and one single yellow. So I may like to wrap this around six times depending on how big your eyes want to be, you know, you can make it bigger or less with how many wraps you have. You can use beads for the eyes, but I really like to do six times for the eyes. So we're going to do a single, two, three, four, five, and six. Put together, and now we're going to do another black. One, two, three, four, five, and six. And these are single bands. Now we're going to take another yellow, twist it again, place your black bands on here. It's a little tight, but you just you can do little by little. One little band at a time. Okay, now we're going to do another one. And I have one more left. Okay, now you can separate them. There's your two eyes. And we're going to place it on these two pins. Okay, you can separate those. So it looks like that. Okay, now we're going to do structural bands. And it's going to be a single twist, and it's going to look like a triangle right here. So right here in the middle, here and here. Okay, so this is your structural band. It's a single twist and triangle. Now we're going to lift up these legs, and we're going to make a little single twist triangle here. So here's my little single twist, and we're going to place it right here at the bottom. Okay, so this is your layout. Make sure it looks like this. And now we can start looping. So I'm going to, I already put the capping band here. And I'm going to loop forward this middle row. Because that's my uppermost band. So my capping band fell off, so I'm going to redo that one. So I'm going to put it on three times. Okay, so the middle row, the middle upper two bands. And we're going to just loop this forward until we reach the neck area, which is right here. So now I'm going to, my uppermost band is this one on the left, and I'm going to loop that to the left. And we're just looping forward. Okay, now we're going to bring it to the middle. 
And now we're going to go to the right side. And then to the middle again. Now this is triple band. See it's on the bottom. So we're going to go all the way down to that triple band. And loop forward. Now my uppermost bands are these middle bands. So I'm going to grab the two. Here's one and two. So I got to I want to pull the beak through there. So I just grabbed that band, went forward, and pulled the beak through. Now I'm going to grab this band and pull it right through in between these two eyes. So now my next band will be this one. And we're going to loop it to the left. Then we're going to loop forward. And then finally to the, the diagonal to the right. Okay, now we're going to grab this band. Loop forward. And to this middle. Now I'm going to get two bands and do my slip knot. So I'm going to place my hook right through this top, grab the two bands, pull it through, and pull taut. So this can be act like a feather, extra feathers on the head. It looks really cute. Or I'll show you how to tuck it behind. So this is your layout. Make sure it looks like this. And slowly take it off the loom. So no bands break. So now, this is the fun part, is shaping your duck to look like a duck and make them stand. So I'm going to push the eyes out, make sure the bands are in the middle, can pull out the beak, you can see it looks so cute already, pull out the legs, make sure everything's all flat. Now the trick to not now it looks like this. So that triple band that we have for the neck, I'm going to place my hook right through the middle. You can see that? Then I'm going to place my thumb right here and pull it down. And pull that down, then take my hook out, and it made it go up. You can see that. So I just placed it right through that triple band pulled it and it made it go up and then you can make maneuver this little area to go a little bit more up too. Now to make the feet, they, they're not flat yet. So here's the three little digits that we had before and you can see this band right here. I do the same technique and I place my hook right through that single twist that we had before that connected all the three digits. I place my hook right through it, then I pull it like that. Okay? And now you can see this is flat. 
So you can see the difference just pulling that little band up. This is flat and this is more straight. So we're going to do the same technique right here. So you can see this little band right here. I'm putting my hook right through it in the middle. Okay, and then take your thumb and just pull it more flat like that. Pull it out, hold it, and now it's flat. So you can see it's flat. Make sure we want a flat foot, so make sure it looks like a triangle. And this one too, like a triangle. And now if you want, if you like the feathers on the top, you can keep it. If you don't, you can hide them within the back, within a couple stitches. in the back of the head and he'll look like that. So if you like some feathers on top or you like it without, it can look like that. Now you can place them on the table. I like to make move this a little bit to the side so you have more surface area for the feet. Make sure it's flat and he will stand. I have a lot of these and they can stand by themselves. Just like that. So if you're, if you're having trouble with him standing, he can sit on his rear and just sit like that also. But they do stand by themselves. You just have to work with it a little bit and you can have them standing. So I hope you like this tutorial. Please subscribe to Lovely Lovebird Designs. Here's all the family. So you just have to maneuver the feet a little bit and they can balance and stand. Okay, thank you for watching. Please subscribe. Bye-bye.